For more on this, time to bring in for some real talk Tony Sayeg, Fox News contributor, Bernard Whitman, former Bill Clinton pollster, and the CEO of Whitman Insight Strategies. All right, Tony and Bernard, I know you're going to disagree on this. Shocker. So who's right, the Obama administration, Tony, or the other side? Well, the reason, first of all, you aren't also having that mass kind of border uh, crossing is because the economy in America is so bad that it's not creating the opportunities that many come for, number one. Number two, it's beyond amnesty, Gretchen. A amnesty is the whole idea that you don't put someone here undocumented who's not committed a crime back on a bus and send them to Mexico. It's open borders. Don't forget the DACA ruling, the, um, the whole deferred status for uh, children who come to the border without supervision. We've accepted them into the country. We've lost track of them. They're now embedded into our societies, benefiting from our obvious domestic welfare state resources. This is a big problem for the Obama administration now because what we are seeing is in the light of San Bernardino and Paris, there's a revisiting of immigration laws. Both of these incidents happened because <laughs> of poor immigration laws. Yeah, in the case visas. of San Bernardino, the, the, the K-1 visa program, which is actually legal immigration. Okay, so Bernard, how are you going to say that Tony's wrong? Well, I think it underscores the need that we need comprehensive immigration reform. And when I talk about comprehensive immigration reform, I mean something that both sides can, can come away and say, you know what, this is the right, obvious, rational policy that uh, balances the need to protect our borders, to secure the borders, and also deals with those people who are here illegally in a compassionate way. This is in stark contrast to what Donald Trump wants to do, which is round up all 11 million that were cited in the report and ship them across the border. He thinks they all belong in Mexico. Actually, they're scattered all over but, South America. But you have to admit that it was not just coincidence that when these numbers came out and showed fewer deportations for the administration, that suddenly we had, like, a deportation move. No, well, and control. also, don't forget, during the first term of Obama, he was bragging that yes. his deportation was actually greater and stricter than that of the True. George I, W. Bush I administration. Think was, I don't think it was a... It, it, it's public opinion pressure coming from terrorism, which is linked to immigration policy. No, I don't think it was a at all. Sometimes. A court ruled, the appeals were exhausted, enforcement has to happen if the court takes action, so I don't think it was any coincidence at okay. all. Okay. Jeb Bush and New Jersey Governor Chris Christie using similar tactics in New Hampshire. What is it? Well, they're hoping they can make voters feel guilty enough to support them and not support Donald Trump. Tony, is this sort of the last straw strategy for both of those candidates? Well, you would you would think that they could have come up with something better. Although, look, you know, New Hampshire is vigorously independent as far as the electorate's concerned. They're actually more well informed probably than most voters in, in the country because of their first in nation primary status. What I think Bush and Christie are doing, by the way, are appealing to kind of their sense of making their vote count and casting a smarter vote. A lot of Trump's appeal and the opinion of those who oppose him is because of his bluster and bombast yeah. and their trying to say to the New Hampshire voter, you're better than that. Okay, Bernard? Guilt is desperation's last act, and I think it's not going to work this time. It usually doesn't work, and the fact that Jeb Bush and Chris Christie are trying to <clears throat> cajole, harangue, and Italian guilt, Jewish guilt, Irish guilt their way uh, back in the poll numbers. It's Stop simply not going to work. It underscores, frankly, the terrible campaign that Jeb Bush has run and the fact that Chris Christie's appeal is very, very limited. Frankly, I think the New Hampshire voters are pretty savvy, and if they've decided that they want to be inspired and awed by the disgusting and embarrassing well, debacle well, that is Toronto Trump's campaign, then go ahead. Well, a lot of people like Trump. He's leading by a long yeah. shot in that state. However, the recent poll also showed that a lot of people still Undecided. Correct. So we will see how that flushes out in February. Guys, great to Merry see you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.